So welcome everybody and good morning to our Mailbox Power Affiliate Mastermind Group. It is my pleasure and honor uh, to come host this call each and every mo Monday morning. Uh, my name is Casey Eberhardt based out of Los Angeles. If you and I don't know each other, first let me say welcome to our community. We're super excited to have you here. And what we do here is we take the collective brain trust, the collective amazing, awesome thought processes of some of our top, top people inside of our community. And we challenge them. And the way we challenge them is I throw out a persona, a, a person, somebody that is either a customer of Mailbox Power already, or maybe it is a type of a, a, a customer, or maybe it's just something that we've seen be really successful in the past and we wanna emulate it. And then we throw this to the crowd and we let our crowd kind of help brainstorm and mastermind some amazing ways that this person can get either a better experience or even use a system if they're not normally used to it. So today's, uh, today's persona is uh, something that we have talked about a little bit in the past. Uh, we've done one of these in the past, but I just came off of a three-day business digital event. Okay, so uh, I was really fortunate enough to uh, not only be one of the speakers, but also um, the host of the event is one of my closest friends. And so I was saying right before this that this project resulted in a win-win situation. And that win, well, multiple wins, actually. So essentially, he is a speaker. And so our persona today is going to be a speaker who is holding digital events, okay? Meaning, uh, aka digital, you know, is just now a fancy word for the word Zoom. Uh, so uh, so uh, this speaker holds events and um, his directive to his team was, um, we spend a lot of money to have these people register for our event, but we really need them to show up, right? So we spend a lot of time getting... Uh, speakers spend a lot of time promoting events and they're doing all their Facebook and they're spending money on marketing and they're doing Facebook ads and using list builder and they're doing all this stuff. So getting people to the event registered for the event, huge amounts of money go into it. However, there's always what's called a show rate. And that show rate is the number of people who show up as a percentage of those who have registered. Obviously digital events are there to sell stuff. So the higher the show rate, the higher the likelihood that that speaker is going to uh, be able to sell whatever their product goods or services are at that event. And so I wanted to start today showing you the result of a speaker using um, swag boxes or a swag package to help entice and um, welcome people to their event. And so I'm gonna show you two videos this morning. One is only six seconds long. And one is a couple of minutes long. I won't be able to listen to the one that's two minutes long for very long. So I'll show you about the first minute and uh, we'll cut it off, but you will, you, will definitely get, uh, you will definitely get the drift, okay? So first one is gonna be six seconds. And what I'm gonna do is I want you to think about this from a speaker or a, a promoter's of, uh, perspective. And that is, what is the purpose of sending out a swag box? And by swag box, let's just call it a package. So it doesn't necessarily have to be in a box, okay? A swag package, right? Um, we're gonna use a digital generic event, uh, business event, just to make it easy here. Uh, the has basically three goals in sending out this swag package. Number one is to increase our show rate or the number of people that Get this package, go, oh my gosh, if this is what this is about, I can't wait to show up and see what the event is about. Uh, number two is we want to create an extra buzz about the event. So in th this case, one of the things that he did was invite people to do an unboxing video of the swag gift. And that's because we wanted to get a one-two punch um, out of our sending a swag box, which is essentially social media posts. OK, because if social media posts, if people are posting about the swag box, there's more of an excitement level prior to the event. OK, so I'm going to show you two videos, uh, two videos first. I pulled them up on Facebook. Like I said, the first one is only six seconds. Uh, the second one is a little bit longer. And then my um, my ask today is what would you invite a speaker doing a generic business event to input or in, uh, include in that swag package to increase the show rate, make the person feel amazing, and perhaps get some social media play out of it 
by, um, by having some posts done on, in this case, I'm just gonna use Facebook because it's easy, okay? So here we go. We'll go in and we'll show you these, these two videos first, okay? So this is the first one. Let's bring this back. There is no sound on this one. So here's the first one. Okay, you can see that the person literally took a video, laid it all out, put some fancy lighting behind it. She clearly sells a magic water, or uh, that would be my guess. I don't know that for sure, but clearly there's her own product <laughs> located right inside of this video as well. Now, I want you to look at this. Um, even in the comments that were left, um, see you at Pride. Thank you. The, uh, the event was called Pride, by the way, it stands for Produce Ridiculously Irresistible Digital Events. Okay, so this is. Uh, my friend Ken, who does this event, um, they have amazing swag. It was sweet. It was a sweet surprise. Love, love, love this video. It brought a smile to my face. That got him extra oomph because of somebody doing that video. Okay, so that was the first one. Second one, remember, this is going to be a little long. And Helen, I would like you to give me a thumbs up if you can hear the sound on this one. Okay. Okay, so here's the second one. Okay, so let's 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 go back here. Okay. Now, this this was unsolicited. Okay. What can it be now? Swag box. I like big swag boxes, can I lie? Another for the can then I put swag box on my back. Let's cut it open with my knife. Let's get excited. Cut it open. Cut it open. Whoa! Cut it open. What's it be in my swag box? Swag boxing. Swag boxing. Cut it open now. Oh, don't get cut. Don't cut myself a sharp knife. Sharp knife. Sharp knife. Open it up. Oh, don't get cut myself. Cut myself. Oh, that'd be bad. Woo. Woo. Put it on my knife. So I don't want to. Oh, man. Come on, swag. Oh, there it is. What's in my swag box? Oh, look at these little bit. Oh. Swag boxing, swag boxing, swag boxing, swag boxing. What do we got in here now? Huh, an envelope. Oh, yay, free envelopes. Look, there's two of them. Huh, swag boxing. Woo, it's bubble wrap. I always went on some bubble wrap. Oh, I don't drink coffee, so I don't have any coffee mugs, but I've been wanting a really cool my coffee mug. Look at here. Look, there's a swag box coffee mug. VIP, yeah, baby. Woo. Man, I heard it. You heard that loud noise? Woo. Swag box and swag. Ah. Look some stickers. Sticker, 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 stickers. What kind of stickers? I wonder. Whoa, look at this. Woo. Shazam. Ha <laughs> ha Smiling poop. Smile, you old fried camera. I love you. You're so cool. Oh, I got an idea. I'm a genius. Swag box and swag box. What's this? I don't even know what this is. It's a cookie. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It has my name on it. It says, baked with peace, love, and pride. Exclusively for Super Lush Junior Shots Crab Buckley, but to give to your friends that you don't eat cookies. <laughs> peace, love, and pride. I mean, peace, love, and yeah, peace, love, and pride. What is this? What is the notebook? Peace, love, and pride. Super Lush Junior Shots Crab Buckley. Look at it. It's got my name on it. What? Okay. Now, the reason I share that is that is an unsolicited attendee doing a video. Now, that may be a little over the top, but here's what happened. During the actual event, when it came time to talk about swag, that guy went on and 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 on about the swag boxes. It was very um, conversation inducing and led to an entire conversation about how to get people to show up to an event. Okay, so it might've been a little over top for some of us, um, but that's what this person is trying, to, is trying to achieve with sending out swag boxes, okay? So I would like to open this up if you have something from our mailbox power system that you think would be absolutely fantastic for a speaker doing a generic business event to put in that box, 
to people that have registered for the event, but we want to get them to show up to the actual event. And the secondary, um, secondary option or secondary thing we want them to do is to, um, is to do a social media post. Okay, so just um, raise your hand via Zoom or give it like this when I go into gallery view. But Debbie Morrow, bring us bring us into this operation. Okay, so one thing that I think is um, almost a must for those um, types of events <clears throat> because you can tell people, oh, if you if you can't be right in front of your computer, um, I, I've made it easy for you to be in front of your phone or your iPad with the foldable iPad stand, whatever. I, I think that is a must. And then, you know, it has their name laser engraved on it. So I think this is almost a must for those swag boxes. Awesome, Debbie. I absolutely love that. I mean, hilariously enough, I have mine literally sitting right here. Um, pretty much everybody that has ever received one of these things has it on their desk in the in their possession. So uh, excellent one, I love that, Debbie. Who who else would would like to add something uh, to this swag box? Just take yourself off mute and uh, chime in here. Hi, it's Kim Pearlstein. Hey, Kim. Hi. Oh. I just went behind me and grabbed something. So Deborah Thorne, the information diva. Um, I was a speaker at one of her events last year, and she sent all the speakers and other people who registered a swag box. So one of the items that was in here, I haven't eaten it yet because I love to show people, <laughs> is the almonds. Hey, Kim, keep your energy up. So I love this. And she sent a lot of other things, brownies and a mug and a journal and a luggage tag, um, all great stuff and and she even had a, a swag box inside you know the boxes that we can customize the front which was beautiful and she had cards like the guy showed um little postcards that had different symbols on them but yeah that was th there's so many great things that speakers can do uh, that people that run the events can do and that was one of them yeah awesome and what i love about those almonds and the keep your energy up uh kind of idea is that as a speaker and you're holding people's attention the last thing that you want them to do is get up and go away from their computer, right? So from a speaker and a presenter point of view, the last thing that they ever want is for somebody to have to go eat something because they are um, hungry, right? So uh, I love that idea. That's a fantastic one. I love that. Awesome. Who else would like to jump in here? What could we add to this swag box to give it really that punch to have somebody either show us on social media or just quite frankly, show up to the event. Just take yourself off mute. Casey, I just ordered for the first time some coasters with some motivational quotes. And I was thinking as a speaker, wow, that would be so great to have some quotes that are really important to whatever you're speaking about to have for them. Yeah, the coasters are one of my favorite, uh, actually one of my favorite gifts to send because they are so versatile. You could do quotes. Um, I've seen swag boxes where the, the, the speaker has four different um, things that they're gonna teach and train on. And those little things are on the coasters. I've seen it where the speaker can put quotes from their favorite author or um, uh, to-dos. They could put all kinds of different things on, uh, on those coasters. Uh, yeah. So fantastic. I've even seen them where they've put uh, hand a coaster to a friend and they've done a game with the a, a game with the coasters so awesome Eileen and I love that one who's up next Casey it's Mary Warren hey Mary Warren I think some stick-ups and maybe the sheet of 16 where they could have some of those quotes but then some other things as well and maybe even a logo of the event because like my logo back here I never take that down what if the other people never take it down and then they're on other Zooms and people are like, hey, what's that thing behind you? Just exactly. So Mary, um, for, for some folks that may not know what a stick up is, what is a stick up? Because I remember stick ups, I remember stick ups <laughs> being a commercial from the 80s, which does not apply to what you are talking about. No, stick ups in this case mean a reusable, removable sticker that is not sticky like a regular sticker is. You can actually peel it. It's not going to stay stuck to whatever you have stuck it to. In fact, I could show 
right now you just rip it right off and they come in different sizes so this is like the largest size and then they have uh two different sizes of, other than this one so I, I absolutely love them i use them all the time on different things i have one on my computer when i take my laptop out to places i sometimes get asked hey what is mailbox power that's awesome and you know uh, what i love about that mary and this just came to mind while you were showing that is in in his case he has a vip upsell right and so what they did was they created zoom backgrounds for everybody that had upgraded to vip but the reality was they weren't that great and so mm -hmm. something like a stick up that says you know the event name vip and have them stuck behind it it's extra branding for them as well so that's that's i love the stick up idea that's fantastic awesome debbie morrow so you know how some events are like long events you know they go like the whole weekend and and you know it, maybe in the evening there might be a different feel to the event than you know during the day with the classes so how about um the personalized wine tumbler for happy hour so you know maybe that's more of a more rather than more training it's more of a networking you know happy hour grab your glass and and we're gonna do a little bit different thing this evening absolutely and again debbie it's so funny that you say this because this was a conversation I had with um, the host from this event this past weekend is they do VIP sessions after hours. And so that was one of the things uh, that we suggested is like, hey, for all your VIPs, do one of the uh, cold hot wine tumblers. Uh, and I only say cold hot wine, uh, not that you want hot wine, but the, the tumblers do keep things hot and they keep things cool. It's kind of like a McDLT, the hot side hot and the cool side cool, right? So um, so yeah, so he could put those in there or she could put those in there for VIP session, uh, VIP session holders. So awesome, I love that idea. I love that. What else could we add to the swag box? Just take yourself off mute and chime on in. Okay, how about a personalized pen to take their notes with in that little notebook? Absolutely. I love that as well. So personalized pens uh, and the journals, um, the journal, um, uh, the journals are a great way to keep everybody writing notes inside of one notebook to where they don't get lost. I mean, some of us have, some of us use these type of notebooks to keep our notes, our notes in, but you might have 30 or 40 different events in here. But if you're running an event, you want everybody to keep your notes from that particular event, that list of to-dos, that list of action items right inside the personalized journal. So I love that, Debbie, with a pen. I mean, imagine what a cool little setup where you got your phone holder or your iPad holder, your pen, your journal, and a glass of wine. I mean, come on. I mean, <laughs> I mean, come on. Awesome. Bob Wilcox. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a big fan of both the flyers and the gigagram. Because especially the gigagram, it, it makes a wonderful four-color brochure. So if you've got content that you want people to take with them and they don't have to take the notes themselves, put that in a gigagram or put it on a flyer and add that to the box because it's going to give them a, a sense of, of what the content is for the for the session. Absolutely. I mean, Bob, I love that with the gigagram. Number one, you could put the schedule in there, although most speakers won't put schedules in in anywhere for people to see um but you could actually do content like almost you could create like a workbook treasure map type thing mm -hmm. inside of the inside of that gigagram where people are filling in the words so on and so forth um i i love that same same with same with the flyer maybe outlining the program that's going to be offered or the the um, different ideas that are inside of there i love that um, you know, Bob, it's so funny because you sent me one of these and I used it as an example this past weekend <laughs> is our little mini puzzle, I think is one of the most fun things that yeah. you can do. It's a little puzzle. I think there are 12 pieces. It's about, I don't know, yay big uh, when it's all put together, but you could put whatever you want right on that puzzle and have your um, potential um, audience member Maybe it says the Zoom link. Maybe it just says have an awesome day. You could all do, but unlimited what you could put on the front of that little puzzle. So awesome, Bob. I love both of those ideas. I love the gigagram idea. Love it. I love it. 
another use for the gigagram is to put the profiles of the speakers. Absolutely. Almost every one of these big events, they do speakers and each of the speakers could have a bio, you know, a quarter page on that, a quarter page on that uh, gigagram inside of there. I love that. That's, and now just thinking that out loud, you could actually do speaker profiles and bios in there. And maybe there's a contest run to force people or to encourage people to read the gigagram where each of the speakers then ties back and there's a secret word or something. And then you could take, have them take a picture and post that up on social media to give the speakers a little extra juice, but also, um, also have people pay attention. So that's awesome. I love that. Awesome. Debbie, you have your hand up again. Yeah. How about the, the popcorn? There's uh, like, it could be the unpopped popcorn, the skinny pop, or even the butter flavored um, or popcorn flavored jelly bellies. And you could talk about um, all the ideas that are going to be popping through the session. And, you know, and that's why you have the notes, the note, you know, the journal and the pen. Yeah. So I love that. In fact, I was just thinking when you said that you could actually probably do both the unpopped and the pop and make a correlation. If you don't show up, your popcorn is unpopped. You're never going to have the ideas. Once you show up, there are going to be so many ideas popping that now you've got now you've got a snack. Enjoy the fruits of your labor, something like that. I, I love that idea. I love that. Who else has an idea that we could help uh, put in a swag box? This is a great, this is a great swag box we're putting together here. Anybody else just take yourself off mute? Yeah, Bob. You know, one other thing. Um, sometimes it helps to reward people or pr a promise a reward. So maybe in the swag box, there needs to be a promise that those who show up get an extra special gift that you can't get any other way. So Bob, yeah. you are, you are, you must have been at this event this weekend because one <laughs> of the things that he included and, and neither of the swag boxes showed that the second envelope that the second guy showed was a card basically saying that um, if you show up and you show the barcode on this card, you're going to have a chance to win a $5,000 prize. Mm. And, uh, and it was a QR code that they registered with. And so we knew who showed up with that card and they had to be present to win. And somebody won a $5,000 um, gift package uh, from wow. that. So you, you are spot on, Bob, spot on. I love that. I love that. Who else? Don't be shy. Don't be shy. Just take yourself off mute. The um the jag gripper. You could put some message on there about getting a grip on your business or a grip on prospecting or what you know. Find a way to use the word grip in there or handling that you could do, use with the um with the jag gripper. Yeah, or or even something with open open the can of success or let's open it let's open a can of leads or let's open a can of events or let's open a can of uh or a jar of awesomeness or whatever or you can also use it for a round to it as well so there everybody has go. a round to it so they remove all their excuses there you go i love that i love that I this is marla that. i just have one thing if you use that foot which is cute and small and just adds to it and tell them that this is your opportunity to step into your greatness or something like that so that they can see that they need to come because they need to see their greatness. I love that. And what, what Marla was talking about is inside the gifts thing, there's a little tiny um, rock foot and it's pretty flat. It's really small. Helen has it holding up right now. If you okay. can see Helen on the, on the screen. Um, uh, so I love that. Step into your greatness. How awesome. I love that, Marla. Or they could well, use the soap one to say something about cleaning up their act. <laughs> there you go. We've got a soap one in there. Clean up your act. Let's let's shine off that business. Let's clean this business up. Let's clean up all your excuses. You know, if you say unsuccessful things, we'll put this in your mouth and wash your mouth out with a little foot of soap. All kinds of all kinds. I don't know. Maybe that was just my childhood. Um, <laughs> so awesome. Anybody else want to jump in well, here and help with putting together an amazing swag box? I, I like to use the uh, clever cutter a lot. I use it a lot because my tagline with that is let's open up some new business. Awesome. And what is that, Bob? The clever cutter? Yeah. It's a box opener. It's a box opener. So 
Helen is again holding it up. She's uh, Helen, just take yourself off mute so people can see it because I'm on, I've got you on speaker view here. Okay, here it is. So you've got the two little blades inside these little point areas here so you can't cut yourself, but it's good because you just put it under the thing and it's I very effective, it. much more so than I expected. Yes, <laughs> I love this thing. I have three, I have an RV, so I don't have a lot of space, but I have three of these around the RV for different things. <laughs> and I send them to people, especially if I see somebody opening up a box with a pair of scissors, they, there's a clever cutter going into the mail them with them straight away. That's awesome. That's awesome. I love that. Anybody else want to jump in with an idea to help with a swag box? Some great ideas in here. Going, going. Casey, it's Mary Warren. I, I noticed that Nanette put in the chat the key for the key to success. And what is the, what is the key? And I wish Nanette had jumped in here, but uh, what is that key? Um, it's a little metal key. I think Helen has one. Yeah. Yeah. Key to success, key to your dreams, key to your resolutions. But it's That's a really, awesome. it's actually a, it's actually a bottle opener, but it's awesome as a key. It is a key slash bottle opener. Yes. Uh, and there's all kinds of different things that you could use uh, to include that in the swag box. So awesome. Anybody one else? More. Yeah, one Debbie. more. That, that clever cutter that, that you guys were just talking about, I think it would be a clever idea to send it first and i think if the if it was just the clever cutter um it would come in one of these kind of flattish envelopes um with um, a card or a postcard that says stay tuned you'll need this for you know whatever and then they could use it to open the, the actual swag box oh my gosh you know what's great about that debbie now that i'm thinking about this I love that idea because you could send that ahead of time saying, hey, you're about to receive something cool. And that's where you could actually make the request. We're running a contest for anybody that posts about what you're gonna get on social media, record yourself opening what you're gonna see. Don't look inside, record it, drop it up on social media and we're gonna give away a prize or something. Oh my gosh, that is, that is, well, that's why you're a fantastic marketer, Debbie. That's awesome. Oh, I love that idea. I'm going to make Ken watch this. Uh, <laughs> awesome. Anybody else want to jump in? Okay, then we're going to put a lid on this one. I want to thank each and every one of you for participating uh, in today's swag box persona uh, or a swag box persona persona of helping somebody uh, help people show up to an event and getting some social media play out of it as well. So Thank you all so very much. Have an amazing day. Until next time, let's go send the Clever Cutter. I love that idea. The Clever Cutter is going out. I hope they have a lot of them in stock. So with that, you guys, ciao for now.